Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Overwatch. In this series of videos, I'm introducing every single character in the game. Last week we talked about Zarya, the female bodybuilder and tank of the team. However, this week we're gonna have an in-depth look at Torbjörn, a character that shines especially in defensive play. Build them up, break them down. Torbjorn is a little different from the rest. He's unique in the sense that his basic attacks aren't very impressive at all, unlike some of the other heroes out there. However, he can be extremely powerful because he can build a turret. He can place down a defensive sentry that deals damage to enemies that come in range. This automatically makes Torbjorn one of the most defensive characters in the game. And even though you will very seldomly see him on the attacking team, if played correctly, this guy can do huge amounts of damage. Let's have a look at his abilities. First off, we got the Rivet Gun on his mouse. This weapon shoots sort of like a pistol. Its default attack is the left mouse click and this one is most efficient and medium to long range and fires a bullet in that direction. Obviously Torbjorn, however, is an inventor. When clicking the right mouse button, the weapon switches to a more burst damage shotgun type attack, making it much more efficient at short range. By default, it has 20 bullets and using the right mouse button is going to use 5 of those shells. A left mouse button click will only obviously use one. Meaning that you're always gonna have to decide whether or not you wanna use this shotgun-like shell or if you're gonna use the long-range attack. However, the reason why you wanna play Torbjorn is because you can switch to a hammer when you hit the hotkey number 2 on the keyboard. Yes, a hammer. You probably won't really use this hammer very much in combat at all because he's extremely slow, but you can use the forge hammer to build turrets and to also upgrade a turret that is already set up. The turrets are stationary, so you gotta have to place it perfectly every single time, but you can deal a ridiculous amount of damage if placed in key locations. My masterpiece. They are very tough to kill and remain there until either Torbjorn dies or if he actually, you know, eliminates it himself. By hammering away at the turret, he can upgrade it to a maximum of stage 3. Only one of those turrets can be active at any given time and the hammer can be used to not just upgrade the turret, but also to repair it if it is taking damage. One thing to note about upgrading is that you need to have this thing called scrap metal that you can pick up from fallen heroes. This means that Torbjorn is still forced to go into the combat constantly himself as he won't be able to upgrade the turret if he is camping. In Overwatch you don't have just health and shields, you also have this thing called armor and that is what the third ability of Torbjorn actually provides for the team. He can throw down armor packs with his E ability. This has only a 3 second cooldown and can be thrown in front of allies to give them a little bit more sustain. He can also pick up his own armor packs, giving him quite a bunch of life as well. In total, every single armor pack contains 75 hit points, so in a way this sort of makes Torbjörn a support character as well. His ultimate ability you probably have already heard being yelled if you watched any kind of Overwatch gameplay. It's called Molten Core. It boosts his scrap, his build speed and the repair speed of the turret. Oftentimes realistically meaning that he can then upgrade to a level 3 turret with ease. This ultimate ability can be activated to boost his health as well and allows him in combination with shields and his own armor packs to go up to 650 hit points when he only starts off with 200 HP when you load into the game. This ability will be used pretty much as often as possible because, you know, it's just gonna give you a lot more sustain, it's gonna allow you to repair the turret more often, and it's just gonna make him more powerful all around. Torbjorn's playstyle will be just like his turret, pretty stationary. He can move around himself, obviously, just like any other heroes can, but he is always going to be close to his own turret. Knowing the maps and knowing where to position the turrets is going to be absolutely crucial. He's going to be incredible in defensive play when enemies are forced to capture a certain objective or if they have to run past a certain point. You have to keep in mind though, you also need some time to set up the turret. In almost all gameplay footage, the opponents are honestly playing a little bit too aggressive, close to that turret. I think especially right after release, Torbjorn is going to be incredibly powerful because people will very quickly underestimate the amount of damage that it can do. However, he is very, very, very slow compared to other heroes in the game. None of his abilities really allow him to get around the map fast, and that means that you also don't really have any kind of escape. If you die, you're gonna take quite some time to come back into the battle as well, and then obviously you also need to once again set up shop. Most of the work is going to be done by the turret, and it basically has Torbjorn on a leash the entirety of the game, as he can't do much besides his basic attacks that are pretty strong, but nothing too incredible. Torbjorn's story is pretty awesome as well. He's the one that designed the various weapon systems and all kinds of other technology used by armies around the world. 
He's a legendary inventor that is being looked up at by many. Before the Omni Crisis, Thorbjorn gained notoriety for his excellence in creating weapons, but his employers wanted him to create weapons for robots as well. However, he did not trust this whatsoever. He doesn't trust artificial intelligence. He was afraid that eventually robots would try to overtake humans, and it turns out he was right. The Omni Crisis happened, and the robot population of the world turned against their human creators. During this Omni Crisis, Torbjorn was recruited by the Overwatch team. His inventions were crucial in ending the crisis, and afterwards, Torbjorn always remained critical for the team. Nowadays, obviously, Overwatch is gone, and Torbjorn is traveling around the world. He feels responsible for his own creations that he made. After Overwatch's fall, his weapons got stolen, and he has to make sure that they will not fall in wrong hands. I hope this video explained everything that you wanted to know about Torbjorn in Overwatch. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to post them down below the like button in the comment section below, and I will try my very best to answer them. So if you enjoy walking around the battlefield with a hammer, putting up stationary turrets, this character is gonna be great for you. I wanna thank you guys all for watching, have an amazing day, do not forget to smile, and I will see you in the next one.